All right, this is Terry Thistlewaite speaking live via Skype to Catherine Lamb, who is on location uh, filming another movie. Uh, Cat played the role of Penny the Penguin in An Inconvenient Penguin. And Cat, tell us what's going on. Uh, well, what's going on now is very exciting. Can you, can you hear me? At all? Just the one incident. As a, I think it's possible that we've lost it. Well, I think we've got enough. Uh. Excuse me, are you Elisa Wardell? You're the actress that appeared in Inconvenient Penguin, the short film. I was just wondering if I could talk to you a bit about the acting style and technique that you chose to use during the course of the film. And why you chose to do what you did. And, uh, do you feel acting is a more of a visceral experience or a physical experience? Yo ho ho, I brought your order to go. 1650. In all of the films you've ever appeared in, what would you say was the most fulfilling role you've ever had to play uh, in character or... Uh, Mr. Haynes, uh, could you tell me a bit about your procedure for composing the soundtrack for An Inconvenient Penguin? Definitely. It's quite, uh, it's quite easy once you, once you figure it all out. Uh, you have to press a pad here, which is the Inconvenient Penguin pad. And then you have to press another pad over here for the penguins. And you need some water, so you have to press the water pad. And uh, put some clouds over there. And uh, for the sun effect, you have to kind of move these knobs just to get it right, just about right there. Press this over here. And it's, uh, it's perfect. And you just press this key down. <laughs> Thanks very much. Sure. Eric Matikosh? Ah. Was Eric Matikosh in there? Yeah. What? Uh, I'm here for the uh, filming of the interviews for uh, the DVD extras for An Inconvenient Penguin. Oh, yeah, all right. Give me a second, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Terry Thistlewaite here to interview you about the extras for Inconvenient Penguin Experience. Uh, I was just curious, um, during the filming of the movie, uh, what was your experience like? Well, it was a beautiful experience, actually. I never worked with a more professional group of professionals. They were at the top of their game, I felt, in this one. I've worked with a lot of crews in the past, but I really feel that uh, this one was one of the more giving crews. Uh, they were more than ready to slap you on the back or give you a shoulder rub or uh, you know paint anything that needed to be painted. Uh, how was your experience as an actor with your character? Well, I've done a lot of characters in the past, but this one uh, presented a number of challenges to me that, uh, well, personally I was glad to take on uh, for a project as important as this one. I, uh, never feel that I could put too much effort into a particular performance and uh, and what do you feel will be the next project for you to challenge yourself well I'm looking forward to perhaps uh, doing a movie with a, well, I don't know an alien in it or some kind of bug a bug yeah uh, Terry Thistlewaite reporting from me. Hollywood California You know, it's one of those things where you work your whole life 
try, just hoping to meet a group of people that they just get you in as an artist. You know, they 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 let you create, they let you explore, and uh, and even though this was even though this was a documentary, you know, I really felt like I had the opportunity to just. I spread my wings. I mean, let me tell you too. Let me tell you, the director, really just s such a nice guy. I mean, you know, I, he'd probably lend me my, his car, or you know, I'd probably stay in his house if he if I needed. So, I mean, really cool. What just, um, oh, great? What what role did you actually play in the film? Uh, We're going to uh, try a game here with uh, Cat Lamb, who portrayed uh, Penny the Penguin in An Inconvenient Penguin. She's on location now. Cat, uh, tell us what's going on right now with your career. So many things, fortunately. Um, I just booked a major motion picture. Uh, we're on uh, location in beautiful Yucaipa, California, and uh, we're filming uh, something for the Sci-Fi Network, actually. Um, Bears to Fighters of the Yukon, so it's pretty cool. I don't have the title role, I'm not one of the Bears Fighters, but I do play one of the uh, the heroines of the flick, and, and so yeah, it's just... It's a battle junior, so <laughs> if you can believe it, that's it's really been quite a ride. Excellent. Well, uh, hmm, tell us uh, a bit about your experience uh, during An Inconvenient Penguin, what it was like working on that film, and are you more of a visceral performer or more of a uh, physical performer? Really, yeah, not uh, too much right now, but uh, frankly, a lot of things with the booking and, and have really moved on since that role, so if, if it's all this... Mm -hmm. Right. Real Housewife of Atlanta, Starting for the party. You know the song. You know the song, right? Starting for the party. Yeah. Right. Um, are you, can you hear me at all right now? Is, are you there? I, I, it's fucking up. I don't know how it works. It. Well, I'll ask you uh, one more question and see if we get reconnected. Um, tell us what your plans for... I don't so my kitty, I don't know if you've met her yet. She's in this. And she's just beautiful. She's in a little bit of a mood <laughs> right now. I don't know. <laughs> you can, mm. she's really, she's usually much nicer. Mm. She's a much I, nicer cat. If you just get to know. Mm. I see. Now tell me, Miss Mather, um, in all of your years of performing in television and film and stage, do you think that as an actor your technique is reached its apex or do you think there's something left to challenge yourself with some more of a, a visceral quality? Good summer, Nayata. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't. Hi, how so, you doing? Hello. I'm sorry I have to look like that, but I'm really a cool girl. I just be chilling and shit like that. Good luck to the three-year-old show. It's fucking real, whole body foul, foul, some freaks and swings, and freaking stabbings there. I really didn't give a fuck. It's cool. I don't have any cigarettes on, I'm sorry. But I'm a good girl, that is so nasty. I'm how a good you bust guy. out of people's pussy like you're some baby. I know. And you're not somebody's baby. I'm you not. understand what I'm saying? I do. That shit is nasty. Really do. Yep. Kuch samaj nahi aya. Bilkuli nahi samaj. To ye aurat kya kya ho raha hai? Uske daante ko kya ho raha hai? 